I finally found you. Karin! Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. <gasps> you two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... so what are you all going to do? I... I plan to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn, to be honest, you really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron, too. We'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, <laughs> stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. Kyoka. 
Nice. Then we can call it Lazy Platoon. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not. But people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. Kasane! How are you? I'm fine. You look alright too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not alright. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, 
why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey! Don't insult me! I would never betray him! Uh... I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. I always thought you were suited for wet work, and I never thought you'd actually use it that way. Well, what can I say? If the shoe fits... You killed Yuito's father. How can you joke about it? Because I'm a bastard, and bastards do bastardly things. Thank you. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh. I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. 
It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. I think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is in Other and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes, I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So half really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck! Ugh. Looks like first platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. 
Maybe Garin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Ceron OSF HQ right away. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <sighs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seiron for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. This must be the area around Kunad Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. <clears throat> Whoa there, I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up! I know, it just slipped out! Everything all right? No, it's nothing. Shaden just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just, just a little freaked out. It seems small. The Kunai gate we saw in the future was much bigger. Probably just needs time. So this is going to expand and destroy the world. <sighs> well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate, and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Ceyron. Your duties won't be any different from before. That's fine, but how is Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Seiron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. I'm not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. Is it me, or are we hanging out a lot? We shouldn't tell Karin we went to the future. We can't trust him. You were right to share information with me. As I expected, someone almost screwed it up. I already apologized for that. Let it go already. I have to finish this mission fast and ask Karin about Naomi. Hang on, Naomi.
How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder what would happen if you get sucked inside. Though I know. Hey, Sheedin, stick your finger inside it. Stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but don't go near the gate even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Yuito is right. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Should I tell Karin that Yuito is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunat Gate. No, this is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming, he's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it, Yuito had aged, but Karin looked exactly the same. Did he just not age, or could it be something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. What do you know, Karin? If you know how to cure metamorphosis, then you can save Naomi. Seiron has labs that are conducting research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Where is the lab? I can't tell you. It's highly classified research and only authorized personnel are allowed in the facility. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on the probe. We're ready to leave. Understood. And with that, your mission comes to a close. Feel free to do whatever you want until I contact you again. Wait, Karin! Arashi, why did you stop me? You lose all perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher-up's consent, then at least pretend that you're an obedient soldier. You're going to help me look for Naomi? Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after all. Besides, I am concerned about Naomi. The other research sounds interesting as well. Okay. I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should stop by the hideout. Let's go.
I see. So that's what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi, how could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. Better than saying it behind your back. Don't forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway, were you really planning on investigating the secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. We can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, Honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. I looked into this lab, and it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay. Then let's go now. Whoa there, wait a second. You sure then? We're coming with you. That's fine with me. Besides, based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Seiron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Haruka. I've prepared a relatively safe route using the information Arashi provided. Thank you. I'll leave the navigation to you. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious than this. You might even think it was on purpose. Sorry guys, I can't access the internal data from here. Don't worry, I've got this. Follow me. you unlock it so damn fast when did you have the time to do that I want to say it was a piece of cake but I didn't have time to hack any of the others according to what I found there's more than a few of these security gates around the facility it's going to be a real pain knowing that is enough we can do the rest on our own be careful everyone
there are others in the facility. Are they studying others in the wild or something? Can't be. If so, they've lost their minds. I'm borrowing this. <laughs> others were they all people i really hope that's not the case i can't tell which of them were people and which weren't we can't think about it now we just have to press on Gate. I think it needs a key card. I'll this lock looks hard to break. It would be faster to just find the key. Maybe some forgetful staff worker dropped their key card somewhere.
there's something on the floor here. It's a key card. Wait, is that blood? Hmm, maybe one of the researchers was killed by another. I think we can use this. nearby resource reading. There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? You owe me. It seems to be locked. We might be able to open it using my power, though. Kasane, try it out. key card. Where can we get one?
There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one?
broken. Aim for a quick spot. was built as a museum. There was a plan to build a whole academic city nearby. A museum. What? Now that you mention it, it does give me that feeling. There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one? There's a gate, but it looks like it needs a key card. Where can we get one?
There's a resource reading that's close. Thank me later. 